Hey guys, welcome back to another Imagine Forward tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a system in which when the player is falling fast enough, they're going to get wind sound effects in their ear. So you might have played a game where at some point the player is falling and it gets to a certain speed or a certain height where they're falling so fast through the air, the wind is going that fast as well that you can hear it. So I don't know if that was a good explanation or not, but basically the player is falling, there's a wind sound effect as they fall. So I'm going to be setting up that today and showing you how to do that as well and this is going to be above a certain speed so it's not just when you jump. So let me show you what this looks like. So if I hit play and get ahead to test it, you can see we have these stairs which I'm just going to climb all the way up to the top of and I might actually add some more in a second because as you can see we're going to fall, we get the wind sound effect as we land, it then fades out. So what I'm going to do is get some more stairs so we can jump a little bit higher. So I think that should probably be good for now. So if I climb all the way back up to the top of here and then jump off we should hear this a bit more and now you can just lower the speed the player needs to get to but i want it to be kind of high like this so if i jump off you can see we're going to hear the sound effect as we're falling and as we land it's going to fade out so i will also just lower the speed now i've only lowered it just so that i can show you off and obviously as you see there you wouldn't want it that low as when you jump it plays but obviously again this is just to show you how it works and just for testing purposes so as we're falling we're going to get the wind sound effect and as we land it's going to cut out so Obviously you'll probably have this on a much longer fall as well, but I'm going to be showing you how to do this. I think you get the picture of what I'm trying to do here, of what system we're going to be making. So let's make this now. So I'll delete all the code and I'll show you how I've made it. So what we want to do first is we want to actually import the sound effect we're going to be using. So I'm going to leave a link to the one I'm using in the description down below. It's just a free one which I got off of Freesound, which sounds something like this. So once you've imported it, what you're going to want to do is you want to open it up straight away. In here, all we want to do is we just want to find looping and tick it like so, so that obviously it's then going to loop around. So if we're falling for so long that the audio finishes, it's going to restart and loop. So we constantly have wind playing in the background. So once you've done that, you can save and close that. And again, you don't need to use the sound effect I'm using, use any one you want. Once we've done that, we're going to go to our character blueprint. So for me, that's content, third person BP, blueprints, third person character, but for you this could be third, first, or whatever you've named it. Once we're in here we want to find some empty space, so I'm going to go here, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to get event on movement mode changed. So this event is going to fire off whenever the player's movement changes. So we're going to go out of new movement mode, I'm going to get an equal equal enum, like so, and in here I'm going to set this to be falling. So when the player is falling, we're going to check to see if we want to play the sound effect. So to check, what we're going to do is we're going to hold down B, left click to get a branch, plug in the condition in there, the executable into the event there, like so. And then once we've got that, one other thing we want to do is we want to actually create this sound effect so we can use it. So before we try to use it here, let's make it. So we're going to scroll up and then we're just going to get right click and get event begin play. Now if you've already used this, what you can do is you can hold down S and left click to get a sequence like so, plug your code into then zero and then come off with then one for this code. But I don't need that as I haven't used it yet. So once you've got that, we're going to just minimize this a bit like so, so we can still see in it. And then in here, all we're going to do is we're just going to drag and drop our sound effect in here. So I'm just going to drag and drop that in there. And you can see we have an add audio component like so. Plug that into the begin play there. You can leave all these as default. And we're going to right click on the return value, promote to variable. And I'm going to call this wind sound effect you can name this absolutely whatever you like then out the return value of that i'm just going to get a stop and the reason we're doing that is because when you add an audio component it starts playing it we don't want to do that so we're just going to stop it straight away and compile and save that and now we have this audio component we can use so if we scroll back down to this code here let's continue with what we were doing so what we want to do first is we want to find out the player's velocity so how fast they are falling so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click and get velocity like so and then I'm going to right click the return value, and split the structure pin. Out of the return value Z, I'm going to make vector, disconnecting it from the X and just making sure the Z goes into the Z like so. Out of the return value of that, I'm going to get a vector length just so that this is then a float value. And the only reason I'm doing it this way, so instead of just going straight up the Z, I'm making it back into a vector and again the length of that it's just because I don't want this to be a minus. It doesn't matter too much and making it a minus might make more sense to you, but for a lot of beginners, keeping everything a positive and getting rid of minuses makes it a lot easier to understand. Neither way is more efficient, this is just sometimes easier for people to understand. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Out of the return value of the vector length, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a greater than or equal to. So a float is greater than or equal to a float. 
and in here this is where you decide how fast you want the player to be falling so I'm going to set this to be a thousand so the player has to be falling at a speed of a thousand units and then when they are falling at that speed that is when we're going to start playing the sound effect so again make this higher make this lower do whatever you want with it to get it perfect for you but this is the value that I'm going for today and I believe a thousand units is a thousand centimeters a second which is about 10 meters a second so I believe that the basically with this the player has to be falling at 10 meters a second or faster and then it'll play this so basically just get this to be the perfect value for you after this we're going to hold down b and left click to get a branch plugging a condition into that greater than or equal to there this is going to be going into the true of this first branch here so if we are falling we're going to check to see if the player's speed is above a thousand or 10 meters a second if it is then that's great we want to play the audio so to do that we're going to drag and drop in our wind sound effects there get wind sound effect out of this it's going to fade in as so i don't want to just start it i want it to fade in and that's going to go into true there and then i'm going to have the fade in duration to be about 0.5 seconds i don't want it to be too long but i don't want it to be just snapping in so 0.5 seconds makes sense for me i'll leave the fade volume level as one the start time is zero and the fade curve is linear you can customize these for what you want but by default it should be good for you and then if we're not at that speed so for false we want to basically check again so we want to be constantly checking the player's speed as obviously the more time goes past the faster they're going to be getting so they might not be at this straight away but they might be in a second so to do that what we're going to do is we want to make a custom event so we're going to scroll up just above the code here and I right click I'm going to add a custom event I'm going to call this check speed like so now if you've already used a custom event called check speed because it's quite a generic name you can rename it to whatever you want so check speed 2 check speed sound effect anything like that or you can even just name it to check is falling or just check anything you want which makes sense for you then out of this i'm going to hold down b left click to get a branch plugging that in there and what we want to do first is we want to basically just see if the player is still falling so to do that we're going to drag and drop the character movement in here out of that we're going to just get, simply get is falling return value of that will be the condition of the branch there so we're just seeing if the player is still falling before we do anything else off of true so if they are then we want to just go back into this other branch down here where we're checking the speed so if we're still falling we want to check the speed to see if the player is now at speed to play the sound effect if they're still not at speed again we want to call this so off of false i'm going to hold down d left click to get a delay plugging that into false there i'm going to set this to a very small value of 0.001 just to make sure this isn't an infinite loop and this code has time to finish before firing off again. Off of completed, I'm gonna call function check speed, like so. So now it's gonna be constantly checking to see if the player is going fast enough to play the sound effect. And then when they are going fast enough, it won't be checking anymore and it will then just play the sound effect. So then to turn off the sound effects, so to disable it, to fade it out when the player lands, that's simple. What we're gonna do is we just come off a fault of this first branch as when they land their movement mode will change and when they land they're not going to be falling so this will come out false so we can just stop the sound effect but one thing we want to do first is we want to come out false and we want to get an is valid node like so and the reason we're doing that is just because otherwise as soon as you spawn it will be false and it will try to stop it before the audio has been created so if we just come off of is valid and put the wind sound effect in the input object there that will get rid of any errors that you might get to start with so we just need to do that first then off of is valid we just want to stop it so if it's not valid so it hasn't been created yet then it's not going to be playing so we don't need to do anything so to stop it we're going to come out the wind sound effect there and we're going to get a fade out like so i'm going to set the fade out duration to one and the fade volume level to be zero so it's going to fade out completely and again the fade curve to be linear and that's going to be off of is valid there and that is the code done so what i might do is just move this up a little bit space out a bit more to make it look a bit neater and then maybe reroute this so it doesn't go through there like so so what this is going to do i'll run you through it is when our movement mode changes it's going to check to see if we're falling if we are falling it's going to get the player speed and if we're not going fast enough it's going to check again so it's going to see if we're falling and check our speed again if we are going fast enough it's going to play the wind sound effect and then once it's done that it's not going to be doing anything anymore and as soon as we stop falling it's going to see if the wind is playing or it's been created if it has it's then going to stop it and then it's going to fade in and out to make it sound a lot better as well so this should be working perfectly now so i hit compile and save and then minimize this and hit play to test it and climb all the way up to the top 
and actually what I might do is just jump off this side just to get it constantly playing and then I'll jump off the other side so it stops as well actually I'll do this side first so I jump off I get the sound effect and then it stopped as we landed and now if I jump off the other side it's not going to stop because we're not going to land but you should hear it playing for a lot longer just so it sounds a lot better and you can understand it a little bit more what I might do is just make this go a bit higher as well so I jump off here we're going to get the sound effect playing and then it'll probably stop when I die like so so what I'm going to do is just make this go even higher up so instead of doing stairs what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this up like so really high up and then I'll just put the player up there instead so this would have been a much better way of doing it to start with but you know we live and learn we're doing it this way now so if we hit play we're up here you see if I jump we're not going to get the sound effect as I'm not going fast enough if I jump off of here we will get the sound effect so we've got the wind like so and then as we land it's going to fade out like so and that works perfectly and sounds great and again fully customizable for you so you can make it so the player doesn't have to be going that fast and all you do is you simply just lower this speed value here so I set it to 800 that would work I wouldn't recommend setting it too low because then it would happen as you jump so I think 800 should be fine yep I think 600 and below for the default speed anyway is where it would start playing when you're jumping so if I jump off of here I'm going to get it a lot sooner and it should stay on for longer and then it fades out when we land so that works perfectly so I think that'll be it for this video is we've done everything we've wanted to do we've set up a system in which when we're falling if we reach a certain speed and we're going fast enough we're going to get wind playing in the background just to make it a bit more realistic and that level of immersion in there again so again thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one